it's Rami and I am so freaking excited for this video. I essentially was so supposed to it doesn't really matter but i was going to wait until tomorrow morning to film this but i just got so excited that i couldn't wait so today's video is going to be a fun exciting little i guess you could call it a blind date with a book i went on etsy and i ordered two books from two different etsy sellers and i will link them below and i ordered two mystery books from these Etsy sellers and I am so excited. They came in the mail. I did not have to wait very long. The shipping was really fast. I think I ordered them maybe a week ago. I finally received them today and I was trying to patiently wait. I could not wait any longer. So we are going to open up these packages and see what books are inside and then I will go ahead and read them and give you my feedback on if I think it's worth it, if I think it's, you know, exciting, if I thought that these sellers picked good books based off of the genre that I asked for, blah blah blah. So let's get into it. So here is the first book and I ordered this from the Etsy seller lemon honey crafts and again i will link them down below and let's go ahead and open it i'm so excited so she put the cutest little card with my name on it which i thought was so stinking adorable i didn't have to take you off mm, it's so beautiful oh my gosh look at this this is so pretty. I don't know. Oh, it goes this way. So pretty. Look at it. It's like wrapped and everything. Okay. So there's a couple of things included with the book, which is so exciting. I wasn't expecting that. So first we got this little card that you can write down your thoughts on the book, which is so cute. I absolutely love that. And then this really cute bookmark which kind of goes with like the vibe of her really cute packaging. And then the cutest little thing of lemon ginger tea, which is so fun because we all love a good cup of tea with our book. And then here, I will give you a close up look of the outer packaging. Like it's got this beautiful wax stamp right here, some really pretty imaging. And then here she wrote down the genre that I picked. So for this one, I picked YA fantasy. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna open it. It's so pretty. I don't wanna destroy it, it's so beautiful. But it's necessary to get to the book inside. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to not ruin it. Okay, we got the string off. And then I think I might be able to just gently because you really don't want to ruin the front. It's so pretty. <gasps> oh, I see something shiny. Look, you can see. <gasps> shiny. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, I could not wait until tomorrow to do this. I am way too excited for this. <gasps> oh, it's pretty. <gasps> what is this? It's called Hush. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. By Dylan Faro. Okay, okay, okay. Let's read the synopsis. Oh my gosh. Okay, this whole thing is so beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Wait, this book is gorgeous. Okay, okay, okay. I need to shut up and read the synopsis. Okay, it says, they use magic to silence the world. In the land of Montaigne, language is literal magic to the select few who possess the gift of telling. This power is reserved for the bards, a group that has almost always been men, who will break the hush. 17-year-old Shay has lived her entire life in awe of the bards and in fear of the blot, a deadly disease spread by ink, which killed her brother and made her family outcasts. When tragedy strikes again close to home, Shay is convinced the bards are behind the madness. 
In the silence, the chaos is growing. With a heart set on justice, Shay returns to unlock the truth, which may be closer than she thinks. Just listen. Wait, that sounds so good. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is like also an incredibly beautiful book. Like, oh, no way. Look at these pages. Oh, oh my gosh. What? Okay, I am so freaking excited for this book. One, the synopsis sounded really interesting. Two, look at this book. It's freaking beautiful. And then that's the packaging it came in. This is already a win. This is already a win in my books, okay? So lemon honey crafts, lemon honey crafts, 10 out of 10 already. And like the book is in amazing condition. The only thing that I see is there's a tiny black dot of like some sort of marker on the top. But other than that, the dust jacket is like in perfect condition. The pages are in immaculate condition. The actual book, when I look at it out of the dust jacket is in great condition. None of the corners are like ruined or busted or anything. Let's see, how much should I pay for this? So this was $15 and then there was $4 shipping. So it was about $20 with tax, which for a nice hardback in beautiful packaging with the cutest little bookmark and tea and like the anticipation and the whole spiel of it, I think is a really great deal. This sounds like an amazing book and I'm really excited. So we will get to this and I will give you my feedback on what I think of Hush. I am running around right now trying to get ready to go to a dentist appointment. So I think I'm gonna grab Hush and we're gonna head off to the dentist. So yeah, I just wanted to film this little clip to show I am officially starting one of, <clears throat> excuse me, it's kind of early in the morning, um, but I am officially starting my first blind date with a book, book, and I'm very excited. I am back from the dentist and I have my oat milk latte. So stinking good. I didn't want to have my latte before the dentist because I don't know, it just felt wrong to drink coffee before the dentist. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then I literally got one page into the book, but I swear it's like when I bring my book somewhere that I think like, oh, I'm gonna have to wait in the dentist's office like for them to call my name and I'll have, you know, like 20 minutes or so to read my book. Then I bring my book and they call my name in like two minutes versus when I'm like, oh no, I don't need my book. Like it'll take two seconds. It takes like 30 minutes. Tell me why that is. Tell me why it is like that. So I felt like I was already intrigued by the first page. It's really nice outside. So I wanted to sit out here and read a little bit more of my book with my coffee. I have a couple little uh, snacks. Ooh, I just felt like it was in the mood right now. It's like nice outside with like a tinge of a chill. So being like in my cozy sweater with my book and my coffee is like just the vibe right now. And I am so here for it. Ah, yes. So that is what we're going to be doing with the rest of our morning. And we'll see how far we get into this. But seriously, first page already very intrigued. Let's do some reading. There's a giant horsefly. I can hear it so loud. Stay away. Leave my coffee alone. Oh! It just went right over my head.
maybe two more sips. And I am about 25 pages into the book. And I just wanted to give my like immediate feedback. I am really, really liking the story so far. Um, I already am having like, sorry if you can hear like a bunch of rustling. The squirrels are going nuts right now. I am already feeling like a strong emotional connection to the characters and a strong dislike for the bards, which is like, I guess you could say like their form of like monarchy, I guess the people that make the rules and do like inspections and checks and kind of make sure people are obeying their laws like there's a lot of things that the people aren't allowed to do and say especially um words stories like you know it's never good when your form of government is trying to control stories and speech and all of that so definitely some intense like governmental power going on right now and also the chapters are fairly short which I love I love that there are short chapters but so far so good I just can't get over how beautiful this book is I'm just seriously enjoying this book so much not even just the story but like visually it's beautiful um, it also has this cool map in the beginning so I'm gonna take a break to eat some lunch but I'm excited to keep reading this book. I'm genuinely so surprised as to, like I'm only 25 pages in and I am seriously invested. Well, this was in the synopsis, so it's not really spoiling anything, but Shay's brother died of the disease. People are just being all kinds of noisy right now. Someone was beating eggs or something earlier. It was so loud and now I can hear someone like putting their dishes away. I don't know. People be crazy right now, but um, so Shay lost her brother to the disease that they call the blot. Because of that, Shay's mom has stopped speaking altogether because they think that the disease is transferred via ink or and or speech. So the mom has completely stopped talking, which just breaks my heart. Um, and the people in this in the book have to be extremely careful about what they say. So. Anyway, so far, so very, very good. Good morning. It is another day and we have made it 166 pages into our book. And whoa, this book is an unexpected great book. Dylan Farrow, Farrow, the author, incredible writer oh my gosh there has not been a lull in this book it has been like go 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 things happening things happening i am thoroughly impressed by this book i've never heard of it before i've never seen it anywhere but the person that sent this to me for the blind date with a book picked a great freaking book this is such a pleasure to read like visually um the story like everything about this book is like what you want in a book when you're reading. You want it to be aesthetic, you want it to be a great story, you want it to be characters that you connect with, you want it to be intense and like enthralling you and like you being in the story, no distractions, like that is how this book is going thus far. I'm not really doing like any annotating or anything, but there was one part on page 157 that I did have to mark because it like almost made me cry, like in the best way. So we're gonna be doing some more reading this morning. I'm gonna get cozy, I have my blanket. Unfortunately, I did already finish my oat milk latte, which is sad but that is okay because I drank it and it was wonderful and it was great. I'll talk to you when I've made some progress in the book and maybe give you some more feedback. So yeah. Hello, it is later and we are back in the same spot in the comfy corner of my couch and i am a little pooped from today but um earlier when i was reading i made it to 
218. So we made a pretty significant dent. I seriously, I feel like I can't say enough good things about this book. Like I am seriously so impressed. I mean, there's like tinges of like a little, like maybe a little romance, but the guy is like really grumpy and not, not that it's like the grumpy sunshine trope or anything because she is not sunshiny, but like it's cute to see them interact and he's so grumpy but then you see like glimpses of like he's protective of her a little bit and like he cares about her more than he should and she gets blushy and like flustered around him and it's very innocent and cute and I just, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's a fun little subplot going on while everything's super intense. I don't want to say anything right now because I feel like that's kind of been the theme of my recent books is like, they've been so good that I don't want to say any spoilers because like, I genuinely want you guys to go out and read this book. And, and even more exciting, I think this is a duology, which then I'm like, <laughs> Sign me up! I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> Sorry, that's my oven going off. We're baking some homemade french fries and I'm very excited and very hungry for dinner. This just makes me so happy. Like I'm so happy to just sit here in my little corner and dive back into this world. What is the world called? It starts with an M. Thankfully there's a map. Montaigne. There. Montaigne. I'm ready to hang out with Shay and see what's gonna happen. So anyway, I'm gonna sit here, cuddle up with my blanket, and get to reading. Hi guys, I finished Hush by Dylan Faro, and whoa, um, this was really unexpected. It's a relatively popular book, which I just didn't know. Yeah, I was like, I've never heard of it. I don't know if it's like what I want to read. No, this was seriously an awesome freaking book. Like I already ordered the second one off of Pango Books because I have to know what happens in book two. Like I, I have to. So the second one is in the mail. I think that this book was the author's debut novel, which just blows my mind. Like it was actually an incredible story. I felt so connected to Shay, the main character, and everything that happens to her is so incredibly heartbreaking and her strength and perseverance through everything is incredible. And the world and the reality mixed with madness. It was just so interesting and intriguing and all of the world building was so, like I don't think I've liked world building as much as I liked it in this book because the descriptions were not so long and drawn out that like you were getting super bored, but they were describing like the most immaculate things like High House is a place in this like world. And the author was describing it as like just these great like marble walls with gold and just like immaculate opulence like insane without like dwelling on it too long and I, I really enjoyed the mental picture that it gave me and also like even down to the desolate wastelands and the really poor towns so helpful in creating the mental picture without being over the top drawn out I would probably rate this either a four or a four and a half out of five stars. The only reason why I would say maybe it didn't quite hit that five star mark. There was one section of the book where like it did like one of those time jumps and then it just kind of like didn't make sense for a minute and it took me a minute to get back like what is happening here it was towards the end of the book like the story was flowing really nicely and then all of a sudden it was just like this weird like bump in the road and then it was like trying to get back on track and then we eventually got there and it was totally fine but I, yeah I would overall four four and a half out of five I would highly recommend if anybody wanted to read it and I will well just in general I'm gonna go and put an awesome review on the Etsy store but now I can say like the book that they sent me was an awesome book and I was kind of waiting to finish this to go and put my review on the Etsy shop that I got this from. I will definitely be giving an awesome review for this. One, because the book was amazing, but two, um, the packaging that this came in, the quality of the book, like the actual physical book, um, aside from like literally one little micro dot on the top of 
Sharpie. The Etsy seller did a great job of picking a book in the genre that I asked for and the fun little extras that they sent. I had so much fun with this. I would highly recommend ordering from the Etsy shop if you wanna do like a fun little blind date with a book. And the second book that I got is this guy, which is also an incredibly cute packaging. And the only thing is I think in transit, it got a little um, beat up, but that's okay. And we have some goodies in here too, which I'm excited to get to. And then I also think it's really cool that she wrote out like that I had picked, um, that, I pro that I really like YA fantasy, that the option that I picked on her page, which I thought was a very cool option that she provided, which is why I went with her, is she provided a genre option, popular book talk books which I thought was a really cool option. And then she put one of the tropes in there, enemies to lovers. She put the pages, which is 519, and then the Goodreads rating, which is 4.3, which she, I think, specified that all of the books that she sends out are at least a four out of five stars on Goodreads, just to make sure that like they are well-loved books. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Let's slide this pretty bow off. And we can look at the goodies that are inside here. So we have a cute little business card. Her Etsy shop is Lighted Up Literary. And then what else? Oh, we have a cute little bookmark with her branding on it. Oh, and then she put in a couple stickers. Oh, so cute. We have this really cute Hermione one. So adorable. And then this one that's just like beautiful books. Love that. And then we also got a tea. We got a decaffeinated pomegranate green tea. And look at it, she did the cool little like wrapping. Skills, skills, skills. I love that. I'm just gonna rip into this one because it's kind of already torn apart. So we're gonna go ahead and rip this one open. <gasps> we, I'm so excited. This one is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. Mahurin, I think. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. <gasps> Wait, I have seen this one on TikTok and I've seen like, I, I think, I don't know if this is on my Goodreads like want to read list, but I think I recently saved a TikTok of this because I was like, oh, I wanna come back to that and look more into it. So there's a short synopsis on the back. It says, bound as one to love, honor, or burn. A witch and a witch hunter thrust into holy matrimony. There is only one way such a story could end a steak and a match. <gasps> Wait, this sounds so interesting. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's so exciting. Wait, and also this is perfect time for October. Okay, this is very exciting. Also, this is a like a nice floppy book for being 500, over 500 pages. And she specified in her Etsy listing that she sends out books that range from like new or like new to gently used to good condition. So because she likes to give second, third lives to books, which I'm all about as long as it's readable and it's staying together and it's not like trashed. I am all about buying used books. I love buying used books, but just to show you the quality, we have a couple little dings here in this corner as well as this bottom corner is a little dinged up as well. No water damage. The spine has not even been cracked at all, which is really nice. Um, Cause I try not to crack my spines, especially when they're floppy like this, like I don't really see a need for it. But yeah, I really like that. And I am so excited because this seriously is a book talk book and it's fantasy. That's like exactly what I asked for and she did a great job picking this out. I am very, very excited to read this book. Yeah, and I think overall I paid $16 for this one. The package was $15 and then I got a little bit of a discount. It was on sale. So it was $12 with $3.50 shipping. So this was $16 for me to order. So a little bit cheaper than the last one, but I still got a bookmark, tea, stickers, like goodies and all of that was wrapped in relatively cute packaging. I mean, I think the other one was just like above and beyond really cute packaging. Good quality book, amazing pick 
and I can't wait to read it. Let's go ahead and read Serpent and Dove and see if this is a good pick from my Etsy seller. Good morning. I have an oat milk latte this morning and I only have a little bit left, which is kind of sad. But it's still good. And we are reading Serpent and Dove this morning. Yesterday, I got to page 44. Um, and this is not what I expected. I don't know what I even expected, but this is not it. Not in a bad way, but yeah. I, I guess I didn't expect it to be so like witches against like highly religious people. I guess I just didn't expect that. Not that it's a bad thing. I guess just for some reason, I don't know. I, I thought I read the synopsis, but maybe I didn't. Cause like right here on the back, it says a witch and a witch hunter. So I don't, I guess I just didn't know what to expect. I just got through the second or third chapter, I think with um, the perspective of Reed. And I, this has been my favorite section thus far it has been from Reed's perspective. Um, I really liked it. So I'm excited to hear more from Reed. So I'm gonna sit here for a little while longer. Jacob is making us some waffles for breakfast. I will probably eat my waffle and read my book. latte earlier but I finished it very quickly because I just needed the coffee you know it was just one of those mornings so instead of having another cup of coffee I'm trying to be good and have tea instead because your girl don't need that much caffeine last night um I may or may not have read until like 3 a.m my bad um I forgot to take my melatonin before bed so whoops and I made it to around 400 and 26 pages. So I feel like we are definitely going to finish this today. We have less than 100 pages left and it is getting, oh, I am just, I am enjoying this book thoroughly now. The first 80 pages were rough for me, but now that we're in the story, I am in the story, okay? And things are happening. Things are going down, okay? It's getting real and I am so here for it. I am so in love with Lou and Reed oh my gosh they are just they are precious and i love them so much and it just makes me so happy every time i pick this book up i am just happy because i love their characters so much things are going down right now okay it's it's dangerous okay lou is in danger things are happening and i'm just like i need to know how I, get, um, I need to know how it concludes, I guess, because we're less than 100 pages towards the end. I'm hoping it's not a major cliffhanger, because if so, you know I'm gonna have to buy the second one. I'm going to get to reading and enjoying my tea. So yeah, I'll do that right now. I officially finished Serpent and Dove. It definitely left 
on a cliffhanger, which I kind of expected. <laughs> um, so I definitely think that I will be continuing this series. Um, the next book is Blood and Honey. Yeah, I think overall I really enjoyed the book. There were definitely some areas that were a little bit confusing. Overall, I think I would give this book a four out of five or like 3.75, four. Like it was a really good book. The first like 80 to 100 pages were really, really rough for me. I was having a really hard time getting into the book. But then after that, I flew through the book fairly quickly. The only thing is that there were still a few parts of the book where it was a little confusing, like who or what was going on, how, you know, some people were connected, kind of the plot jumping around a little bit. So I was, a, there were a couple moments where I was confused. Overall, the story, the characters, like I really enjoyed it. I absolutely love Lou and Reed's character. I love them together. I love their personalities. They crack me up. These were my two blind date with a book. I would highly recommend trying it out. And again, I will link the Etsy shops below because they both gave me amazing picks. I feel like did a great job of picking books within the genre that I asked for. Um, within the parameters that I asked for. I, I don't have anything negative to say about it. The shipping was really quick. The um, packages were super cute with a couple little like add-in extras. The books that they sent were amazing. I'm so glad that I read them. So if you are either in a reading slump or you're just kind of not really sure what your next read should be, I would highly recommend ordering a blind date with a book from one of these Etsy sellers. I enjoyed the entire process, so yes. If you guys give the Etsy shops a chance or any blind date with a book a chance, please let me know. I would be so curious to know if you liked the book that they chose to send you or you didn't. So comment below, let me know, or go over to my Instagram and we can chat over there about it. Anyways, I had a ton of fun making this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you in my next one. Happy reading, bye.